I'm going to walk you through Excel Lab 2 formulas and functions. The first thing that you're going to need to do is get the Excel Lab 2 start file. You can click on the link and that should download it. In my browser it's showing up right here. So I'm going to select that, I'm going to open it, and that should be pretty much what you see. And I'm going to walk you through step by step what we're doing in the um, lab. So in cell B11, and remember it's always done here, B11, that would be through the total, we want to calculate the total. First we're going to have to hit choose enable editing. Now I can calculate the total of cells B4 through B9. There's a couple different ways to do this. You can use the sum function from up here, <coughs> and that will actually select selects one more cell than I need, but that since it's blank it wouldn't matter. So I can edit this either by just clicking and changing the box, or I could type the numbers here. And I'm going to hit enter. In B12, I'm going to calculate the average. Again, I could go up here and I could use the average function. It's going to choose the cell right above it. That's not what we want. We want the average of all of the cells for the first quarter. So I'm going to hit enter. Now I could do the same thing with minimum, or I could type in the formula if I know it. And I could type it equals min, select the range, close parentheses, that'll work as well. And for maximum equals max, open parentheses, select the range, close the parentheses, and that's how you calculate the minimums and maximums. Then you can select all of these and you can copy that formula all the way across. You'll notice that when I do that you get pound signs here. So you may need to go and adjust by double clicking because Excel will never cut off numbers. It'll change it to that symbol for you. In column F, I'm going to calculate the total of each quarter by using simple addition. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an equal sign. That's always the indication that you are going to create a formula. And then I can click on a cell. I can add the plus sign. Click on the next cell, add the plus sign. Click on the next cell, add the plus sign. Click on the last cell and hit enter. And if you'll notice, if I were to click on this, you can see the formula up here to double check it, or if you double click, it changes the colors of your letters and numbers to match the appropriate cell. I'm hitting escape to leave that, and again I can use my fill handle and drag the copy of all of the, the formulas down. 